And then, as it, as they became a bit more known among the Dutch population, there were other people starting to join them. And therefore, the groups got bigger, and toward the end of the war, they were so big, they could even uh, kill German soldiers in certain areas. They could kill the secret service of the Germans, who were always trying to find out who these groups were, etc. So in the beginning, they were very small, usually family members, but as they grew, there were all kinds of other people joining it.
the point was so far that the resistance was able to radio information to the British, to the Canadians, and to the American troops that came through D-Day into France. They were giving them information as where the German troops are, how many of the, of the tanks were there, how many pieces of artillery were there. So that made it easier for all these troops that came in to liberate us to find the Germans and to know how strong they were so that they could send as many troops as needed to defeat them.